Okay, good morning, it's Fiona here and I'm introducing you today to the seven day challenge that I'm starting next week, Wednesday the 28th of September. And I've called it relief from being trapped in a body that you hate. And why is it that um, so many women seem to be struggling with their bodies and while other people just don't seem to have any struggle with food or their bodies at all, uh, whatsoever, just none at all. Isn't that great? Um, so the idea is that I will be taking you through a process that's going to help you get um, clarity and um, feeling that you know what's going to come next for you. I'm going to walk you through the stages that are going to trigger you in ways that's going to really turn your world upside down. I had a lady last week who described it just like that. She said, I feel like I'm hanging upside down. This is taking it from a completely different angle that I really wasn't expecting. Anyway, sorry, that's me. <laughs> um, it's a magical journey into realms that maybe you've never discovered before or you've only ever touched on before. It's an evolutionary step that you're taking here and I salute you for being here to do something different with yourself and with your body. Um, the reason I do what I do is that um, I just found there was no point going on another diet or another detox and detoxing was my way of healthily starving myself <laughs> and I've run detox retreats for I don't know how long and um, yes it's a route in to um, helping people do what they would do what I would do what I do with your body so um, I still talk to people about detoxing so I'm still out there helping people to do detoxing because it was certainly my route in. Um, I realised that I needed to take this from another angle. My body was not responding at all to any diets or detoxing I was doing after a while. It was just going, uh uh, nope, you need to look somewhere else. You need to look in a different direction. So, uh, with another angle, I had to um, listen to what the situation was on the inside. Now, I've been interested in mind over matter for a long time. And um, with that, I've done the fire walk, you know, when you walk across the, the hot coals and you don't burn your feet, so you get yourself into another state. And um, I'm a Reiki master, so I understand about the energy body, I understand about energy and using it and being able to feel the energy as well. Um, and I always managed to look for what the reason was that I manifested a certain situation, an illness, or sometimes even people into my life. So... Um, I take responsibility for everything that happens and sometimes it's not very easy. Um, also with more than 90% of women really hating their bodies and feeling disgusted in their bodies, um, I wasn't able to stand on the sidelines any longer and um, not help people climb out of the just restricted view of what we have to do to be able to get our bodies in line. Uh, to um, lose weight or just feel happy in our bodies. Some people don't even want to lose weight. They just feel really unhappy in their bodies. And it could start with you don't like your nose, you don't like your breasts, you don't like your hair, you don't like whatever it is. Some people are just genuinely unhappy with um, what they seem to be have been provided with. The work I do is based on energy body, uh, your energy body. And I help you see mostly for yourself, um, but feel for yourself what's going on for you personally. Um, what your body needs, what she wants, and what she's lacking the most. I call these the missing nutrients, and they have nothing to do with vitamins and minerals at all. Um, kind of been down that route. Yes, I uh, love that route, but this is nothing to do with vitamins and minerals. As said, uh, the journey is uh, into your body. It's woman to woman. And it's into the cellular makeup of your body uh, just to find out what she's made of, what she's saying to you. So um, join me for the seven day challenge and um, let's just get you starting walking down that road, maybe from a different angle, and uh, just see what happens. I think it's a great journey and um, I've done it several times and every now and again I have to sort of plunge myself back into it just to see uh, what's going on from another angle. And it's just, it's um, remarkable, magical. So uh, that's me for now, and I'll be speaking to you next week. Bye-bye.